Hi folks, uh, we're backstage here at the Wharton Center, and uh, we're just relaxing uh, after the first half. Well, not that I need to relax, you heard it was mostly the trumpets in the first half, it was pretty, uh, pretty amazing. <clears throat> but this gives us a chance just to rest our lips and to uh, think about what's coming up. And uh, we have some pretty interesting music coming up. Not that the first half wasn't interesting music already, but uh, the second half is, uh, changes the pace a little bit. Uh, for one thing, we'll be using uh, some extra musical devices. Um, you might see one of these. Um, I'm not exactly sure who this belongs to, but uh, you may see this soon. And uh, it's just one of those things. Uh, now, we've already played the Bach. We think the most significant uh, music, and say the contribution that we're making, is A, the performance itself. The fact that brass players out in front of large audiences is pretty important for the art to flourish. But then the music, we've spent a lot of time developing what we feel is uh, significant contributions to the brass repertoire. And you heard some of the most important tonight, the uh, Bach fantasies based on the Anna Magdalena notebook were written by a composer, Christopher Dedrick. Now Christopher's dad, uh, especially you band directors, you probably remember the original stage band music in the 50s. Uh, Mood Indigo, all the classics. Art Dedrick was the name attached to these at Kendor Publishing. Well, his son, Christopher, was a trumpet player, or is a trumpet player and keyboard, and now is a movie composer. He has written many pieces for us, and the uh, Bach fantasies that he wrote, we feel are a very significant contribution to the brass repertoire, and he has also written these four pieces for concert band. So uh, one of the things we encourage for band directors, since we know that a large con constituency uh, watching this program, uh, our band programs, we have over 20 pieces of music, what we consider our, I guess you could almost call it a greatest hits, but much of our music has been realized for concert band. So it gives an opportunity for players, young players that may not otherwise uh, come in contact with our repertoire, they can do so through the, the band context. Joe, for example, uh, Joe does many, many uh, uh, clinics and concerts with concert band, and uh, I think he's starting now to feature Canadian brass repertoire, right? Absolutely. I know that. See, Virgin of Ocarina, that's our, our big... It's a traditional yeah. Canadian brass showpiece uh, started 20 years ago, at least, by uh, the infamous, that's more than famous, <laughs> Ron Rom. That's true. And uh, the uh, La Virgen, you can say it probably. La Virgen de la Macarena. Was originally brought to American audiences by the unbelievable trumpet virtuoso. Rafael Mendes. And Joe, who just happens to look a great deal like Rafael Mendes, has taken this, uh, this piece and many of his other pieces uh, to concert bands throughout North America. So uh, you're likely to see this uh, face that looks very much like Rafael Mendes in your um, in your town. Playing La Virgen de la Macarena or Granita de Arena. Yeah. Now, yeah. Brandon, for example. Brandon, did you play in concert bands when you were growing up? Yeah. It was right here in Michigan. I actually played right here in the... Uh, in the Warren Center? Wharton Center, the high school All Stars or whatever, the All State band. Um, what year were you? It was uh, first chair. We I did it two years. Yeah. One year I was second chair. The first year I did it, I was second chair, and then the second year I did it, I was first chair. Second so chair. I didn't think I'd hear that word come out of Brandon. Second I, chair. <laughs> it means, well, you were probably like twelve, and he was eighteen. Really. Yeah. Yeah. I'll explain it. So this is pretty much what we do at intermission, um, our concerts. Uh, Bernard usually would be playing, but he's uh, on good behavior right now. Be respectful. <laughs> because it would, uh, this would probably blot out the sound. Destroy everything you've already built. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's going to go front this time. So let's just take a, a, sh a quick tour. Over here you have the trumpet, uh, trumpet case. Look, it's uh, prepared for... Um, Wait a minute, there's a banana. Careful, guys, when we go back, watch out for the banana. That, that could be dangerous. Uh, the tuba over there is uh, uh, clothed 
and uh, we probably shouldn't show them the props on the prop table <laughs> yet because those will come in uh, uh, pretty handy when we get to the opera uh, later on. And uh, let's take a look at the facilities here. This is a, I would say it's a typical backstage, but it's a typical great hall backstage. This is not the kind of backstage you would see in just any concert hall. This is a, a uh, heavily, first of all, it's heavily reinforced. Uh, we have steel beams here. They've used the uh, 10 rivet principle on these beams, if you notice. 10, 10. And... Uh, Okay, now the guys are actually watching themselves on television. This is Joe watching himself, watching himself, <laughs> watching himself. <clears throat> so, Brandon. Now, Joe is from uh, Virginia, just so everybody knows. Joe is originally from Virginia, grew up in uh, Virginia. Virginia Beach. Virginia Beach. Uh, Gene is from Missouri. And uh, Bernard, uh, he, he was born in Minnesota. Lived in North Dakota, South Dakota, South Dakota and then uh, down south. You lived in uh, Georgia. Georgia, and then uh, went to the University of Wisconsin and very Northwestern. Stable. <laughs> it's very and, uh, stable. And uh, Brandon, <laughs> we already know, is uh, a Michigan uh, alumnus, and uh, is making a, a great name for himself already at, at only uh, sixteen. Very young. Very young. So that's the cast at hand, and I, I guess uh, we're getting pretty... Let's take a look at the time. Mm, looks like it's getting close to time to go back out on stage. So anything, uh, any last words for the audience about the second half? Oh, Bernard, tell them about the piece we're about to play. <laughs> tell them about how it really you know features it? the horn. Well, I was thinking <laughs> of the Adagio. <laughs> no, the Adagio by uh, Simon Barber from the play that. And, uh, it's a horn feature because, well, all the greatest music is are horn features. <laughs> And he wouldn't be talking about it. I wouldn't be talking about it if it wasn't a horn feature. <laughs> and, uh, so it's the exact value for strings just to arrange for brass quintet. It's very beautiful. Do you beautiful. think it should be a horn solo or should it be a tempo? Um, what kind of question is that? <laughs> well, it should definitely be a horn solo. Well, usually it would be a trumpet solo. Right? Well, I know, I know. Well, I think it would sound much better on flugelhorn. Flugelhorn? Oh, really? All horn solos sound much prettier. Well, why, why would we play it as a horn solo? I mean, what, what's the principle here? Yeah. Well, the horn has the most beautiful sound of all the brass instruments. Everyone knows this. So. Why do you put your hand <laughs> in the bill? Okay, the truth is, Bernard was a state champion wrestler. This is the truth. And, and we're all afraid of him. So he gets to play anything he wants, whenever he wants. He's very stable. I made, my, uh, I made my presence known when I first joined the group. Someone said something to me, and I just... Uh, <laughs> my shoulder has I won't felt say the same sense. Happened, but it's, it's, everything's uh, fine now. So. Uh, I used to actually... Barbara used to be my soul, but Bernie pinned me. And now it's his soul. <laughs> you, you guys are pinned? That's fine. That's why we formed the Trumpet Dream Team. To find yeah. more people that can pin Bernie. It's, uh, so there's only one French horn. It's a tag team match. It's Bernie versus all of us. <laughs> he oils up, so he's really hard to catch. <laughs> yeah. Only synthetic oil, by the way. <laughs> Canadian brass oil. You can find it on www.canadianbrass.com. <laughs> Picture of, of Bernard oil. No, oil. Just, just no, <laughs> valve oil. Valve oil. So, many, many if Bernard's mother's watching, just to get the date right, you know, so she's still alive, doing well in the group. <laughs> well, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you back on stage uh, in minutes.